Here we are again, Chuck, for the with the Wells Chamber Commerce Christmas Parade. About 48, 50 degrees. That's a delightful start. It's a beautiful day, Jim. You couldn't ask for better weather. I've got to say, this is probably one of the best days we've had in years. The 30th annual Wells Christmas Parade is sponsored by the Wells Chamber of Commerce. The Christmas Parade is just one of many annual events organized by the Wells Chamber. Other events include the Native American Pow Wow, the Silent Auction in July, the Chili Fest in August, Family Jamboree in September, and the newest event, the Veterans Day 5K Road Race in November. If you're interested in sponsoring or volunteering for these events, please contact the Wells Chamber of Commerce at 646-2451. The board and staff at the Wells Chamber wish you a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and a Happy New Year. The first one we have here is the Wells Police Honor Guard. They've been with this since inception. Members of the group are Lieutenant Shabbat, Corporal Roger Green, Officer Regal, and Officer Justin Titcom. They're followed by the banner and then Then Kathy we have Chase. the Wells Finest. Select people. <laughs> Tim Roach, Town Manager John Carter, and Selectman Kathy Chase. The town officials. And some more of the Wells police officers are in front of us. Quite a few walking this year. And we have our police dogs in tow. And officer friendlies are passing out candy canes today. No, thank you. Senator Ron Collins. Cruising down the parade route in his vintage MGB. Merry Christmas. I see that the trolley with the judges just pulled in. The judges this year are Dar Littlefield, and Balkan, Peg Colbert, Lorraine Cullum, Phyllis Danby, Diane Greenwich, Kim Littlefield, Amy Olette, and Pam Valentinas. The parade judges and their families would like to wish you everyone a happy and joyful and happy new year. The, the, judge, judge, go ahead. the judges are riding in comfort today, thanks to the Molly Trolley Depot. Molly Trolley's premier trolley <laughs> service. The Grand Marshal is town historian Hope Shelley. Hope it was the Grand Marshal 20 years ago and agreed to come back this year for a return performance. Hope is a member of the Historical Society of Wells and also wrote books, the images of America Wells, wandering through Wells, the congregational way at Wells, and the old schoolhouses. Hope is accompanied by her son Brad in the rear seat. Also in the Grand Marshal car driving was Eleanor, President and CEO of the Wells Chamber of Commerce, along with Eric Nixon, Chair. We have in front of us the Jim Dandy's Children's Circus. They've been with us for many, many, many years. Students. These are all students from Scarborough, third grade to twelfth grade. They also perform at the Rudd Claws halftime and we'll be there on December 19th, as well as the Cherry Blossom Festival Parade, April 16th. Quite a few of them. Obviously, these are the older members of the group. They should perform for us here, I hope. Here we go, Jim. It's always amazing to me when they do this. I have a hard time staying on two wheels, never mind one. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thanks for coming down. And our next float is the Wells Congregational Church. The float is live music, and the theme is your way, your home away from home. Please join us for worship every Sunday at 9.30. All are welcome. back for their 
their fifth year in the parade. Next is the Brown family. Mike, Tina, Darcy Brown. Their float is gingerbread men and trees. And the theme is home for the holidays. This is their 13th year in the parade. Tina the driver. Look at the along, snow they're throwing out. Along with Rudy by her side, Darcy and Mike wishing everyone to come home for the holidays. If not, happy holidays. Be home. God bless the troops that are all overseas and abroad. Thank you. Happy holidays from the Brown family. And we have Hannaford Supermarket, our local store right here in town. They've got a 1948 steak truck with the marchers. They're followed by the Wells Rotary Club, which has put together a float for the 2015 Christmas Parade, keeping with the theme, Home for the Holidays. The classic cars, compliments of Tim Stetford at Motorland Biddeford. The float committee includes Rotary President Ryan Liberty, Lee Hansen, Kathy Hansen, Doug Bibber, Robin Bibber, Rocky Furman, Gary Leach, Rick Coyne, Walter Leffler, Terry Hodgkins, Kathy Chase, Christine Chase, Ellen Evadnes, all told it took about 80 man hours to construct. The Wells Rotary Club meets for breakfast every Monday morning at 7.30 at Old Marsh Country Club on Route 9B. And here comes Mr. Coyne passing out candy canes and Tootsie Rolls. They have a rich history as the lead on local fundraising projects such as the Wells Club. And there's Mr. Bibber and Mr. Liberty now. Yes, it will. Bribes we take. The Harbor Lake Pavilion, the Wells High School Concession Stand, the Harbor Fest, and the Wells Park and Rec Pavilion. They've doubled their charitable contributions to Wells High School and the York Community College. The Rotary Club wishes everyone a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and a Happy New Year. And next up we have the Sanford Mainers baseball team with a float. The theme for theirs is Collegiate Basket Baseball Christmas Celebration. This is their sixth year with us. They're prepare, preparing for the 2016 season, selling season tickets now. There's Moose. Oh, there's Mainer. Yeah. It's Chris Moose today. They are followed by the Wells High School Warrior Marching Band, which has been a regular participant in the Wells Parade since it began. They compete in the main band director association shows during the fall season. Five total performances plus all home football games. This year they finished the season with a silver medal rating at state finals. Three of their color guard members participated with Macy's Great American Marching Band in New York City on Thanksgiving Day. Wells also has three Winter Guard programs. Winter Guard 18 will be traveling to Columbus, Ohio in April to compete in the WGI Nationals. Fundraising continues as they try to reach their goals, so please be generous. The Wells Warrior Band also performed the Christmas parades in Exeter and Rochester, New Hampshire, as well as Ogonkin. And there's their leader, Mr. L.D. Downing. Percussion instructors include Paul Bell, Jeff Smith, Sam Holster. The color guard instructors are Bailey Smith, Diana Shelley, and Amy Cashman. <laughs> they gotta be enjoying the much better weather this year. Obviously, they don't need gloves or anything today. And here comes one of our primary event sponsors, Kenny Bunk Savings Bank. Kenny Bunk Savings, a mutual bank, was founded in 1871, headquartered in Kenny Bunk. They proudly serve Southern Maine and the Seacoast, New Hampshire, with 15 branches. Kenny Bunk Savings offers individuals and businesses a myriad of services including checking, savings, mortgages, lines of credit, insurance, and investing in retirement funds. This year, in addition to their banner and the van, they have Kenny Bear. Bear. Kenny Bear, and they're wishing everybody a very Merry Christmas. The Algonquin Chamber of Commerce follows Kenny Bunk Savings Bank under the direction of Francis Reed. They have the abominable 
no man flow. And they've been in this parade many years. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Appropriately enough, the Ogonquit Chamber of Commerce is followed by the Ogonquit Playhouse. And their, their float theme entry is the White Christmas. Now they have a holiday show that is performing in Portsmouth, I believe it is, isn't it, Jim? It's my understanding. And they're hoping that all will help hopefully attend. Next year's shows will include Let It Be, Hunchback of Notre Dame, Anything Goes, Priscilla Queen of the Desert, the Million Dollar Quartet. And they've been in the parade for many years. Following the Playhouse is Main Street, another, another entry from Ogonquin. And their theme is Christmas time. This is their first year in the parade, and hopefully they come back many more. I see we have Frosty dancing on the float. We certainly welcome them to their initial trip to the Wells Parade. Quite a few floats this year. The next one is from Remax Reality Realty One. Home for the holidays. Sticking with the theme for the parade. And they said it took about 20, 20 contributors to do this, and they've been in the parade for two years now. We welcome them all. As well as their dog. And we have, and we have a dog that's sold. <laughs> They're followed by that's Mr. Legassi driving their float. Troop 246, Girl Scout Troop. Cadets from Wells Junior High School, 7th grade. Their plans this year include volunteering as much as possible, making blankets for children who need them, and Valentine cards for hospice parents. They'll be the guest chefs at the Ronald McDonald House, and of course, we'll be selling cookies again very soon. And then we have the Daisy Troops. 1405, they're in uniform. And they really don't know what their exact theme is, but they're having a great time doing it. And this is their first year in the parade. And this is the Piscataquis Obedience Club. Their float is pulled by a vehicle with marchers and dogs, and their, their theme is Waiting for Santa Claus. They've been in the parade, but they don't know exactly how many years, but we appreciate their participation. Following that is Coast Encounters. They do a, a number of trips during the spring, summer, and fall, showcasing the tidal pools, the tidal pool environment. Proud members of the chamber. And then we have the Academy of Dance, which is located in Wells Plaza. And their theme is the Children's Nutcracker. The teachers and students of the Academy contributed in building this float. The Academy of Dance presents the Children's Nutcracker on Saturday, December 19th at 11 and 4 at the Biddeford PAC. Public is welcome. Tickets are available at www.bitly.com. 2015 Nutcracker. And the Welcome Wells them. the Wells Reserve at Lord Home. They promised to have a float next year. They okay. promised to have a float. This is their first year participating and want to be a part of the community. There's D.F. Richard, who is the primary sponsor of the parade. And of course we have the Wells fire trucks. The F. Richard was founded in 16, uh, 1932 and is one of the area's premier regional suppliers of heating oils, propane gas, and complete heating services. Corporate office in Dover, but they serve York County and Maine. We have 
the full lineup of the Wells Fire Department, from the engines to the rescue vehicles, to the fire prevention trailers and educational facilities. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Fire prevention education trailer gets put to lots of good use both here and in other schools. It's part of Kenny Bunk, North Berwick, Agonquit and Wells. It's a mutual type thing that they all share in. Brush truck. And after the fire trucks come the EMS ambulance. The Wells EMS ambulance are followed by fire trucks from Ogonquin. We're happy that they're here. I think they're making a little more noise than we are, Jim, and that's okay with me. septic tank service, tree service, landscaping, supplies, excavation, mulch, and topsoil. They serve the Yorks, Kittery, Agunquit, Wells, and Burwicks. Contact them at 363-3762. Or online at www.abbottbrothers.com. Sorry, I'll be out. I'll be out. Cub Scout Pack 356. Next in line with their flow. A shouting Christmas. <laughs> Took them a day. The whole committee got together, got it done, under the direction of Miss Tufts, Miss LaPointe, and Mr. Cody. They'll be involved with the Pinewood Derby, snowshoeing, snow tubing. And they've been in the parade since the beginning. Obviously, some of the members have changed, but. They all seem to be having fun today, keeping warm. Some of them are in short sleeves yes, in they December. Are. And next we have the York Hospital float. Their theme is All You Need Is Love. Bobby. They've been doing fundraising. Well, contributors of this are the fundraising and EVS staff, and this is their second year in the parade, and we welcome them back again. Look at the minions. They must be the friend raising part of it. It is, I would think. The minions have quite the dance down, Jim. Yes, they do. And then we have the Vintage Tractor Club. Southern Maine Tractor Club. They've been in, a, in this parade for three years. <coughs> and they have an event of quite an event of old tractors. They're followed by Oakhurst Dairy, the Rail Trail Farm, Antique Milk, Wagon and Pony. No Oakie this year. Yeah, no, but they have their old milk wagon and they've been in the parade for 20 plus years. And they're always a happy participant in it. And then we have Joe Kitalano, 
of Kennebunkport in his 1931 Ford Model A and a few others. And this is country schools, country kids preschool. I recently came to Wells. There's no place like home. Country Kids Preschool is child care and everyone is treated like family and our school family wishes you a happy holiday season. This is their first year in the parade. Nancy Hefford and her well-known smart car from State Farm Insurance. Followed by Phil, Phil from Grafton, Massachusetts in his 2005 Red Liberty Jeep with and over 40 strings of lights and decoration. And we have our troops here. Army truck and trailer. Holiday salute to the veterans. That's Ralph Luby from York. Carrying his, driving his old troop truck. All decorated for the holidays. And here we have Heidi Drive. Old Vines. Heidi Drive and Old Vines and Kenny Bunk Port. Bearing on in tradition. We have some royalty. Miss Holly. The Miss Holly pageant. They're representing the Crossroads Maine Academic Scholarship Program. Story time at Christmas, a rocking chair was the inspiration, several hours gathering. And their theme is go, going back home vintage style. He came with two trucks. Yeah. And then next, we have... Next up is the USS Scranton. 120 sailors with a 20-foot submarine float. And they wanted to participate in the parade to show their thanks for Wells. They're basically a sister group that is sponsored by the town of Wells. This is the second year that they've been in the parade. As I understand it, their submarine is in repair down at the boat yard, and they're working hard to get the submarine returned to the sea in preparation for moving the crew and their families to San Diego, California. And they do a lot of volunteer work in the community. Merry Christmas! Thank you for your service! Last but not least... But he's not last. It is Santa Claus. <laughs> Aboard the Tower 6. Santa bringing the parade to a close. And we'd like to thank everybody. What a wonderful day we had. The weather is phenomenal. And all I can say is I hope next year is as nice as this. Hello, Santa. Again, the Wells Chamber of Commerce wishes everyone a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and a wicked awesome New Year. And so doesn't Jim Berger and Chuck Million and all their extended families. Wishing everybody a happy holiday. Thank you.